Hi, Darren Fredrickson here with Master Surveil. And today I want to talk to you about an ongoing debate about date and time stamps on videos. Uh, I recently read a book where the author said that um, you have to choose your photography equipment based on the fact of whether it can have a date and time stamp. And I totally disagree with that assertion. Um, if you limit yourself in your equipment to equipment that basically like like camcorders that will put a date and time stamp on the image, you're extremely limiting yourself to the, the equipment that's out there. As a matter of fact, I'm not even really aware of cameras out there unless you go back a few years that will even put a date and time stamp on the image itself. That's, that's really old school in my book. And I've been, I haven't used it, uh, I don't think ever. I've always used equipment that records to a disc and the metadata contains the date and time of when that video was recorded. And so the debate is, well, um, that you have to have something that will record the date and time stamp. And, and I don't know where that comes from other than when you submit evidence to an attorney, and, you, and usually this is in the private sector, I've never had an issue in law enforcement where they've ever asked about my evidence my photography evidence or video where they've ever disputed the fact that I recorded video and a date and timestamp was ever an issue. Even the metadata doesn't even have to be accurate. Sometimes I, I use my equipment in the field and I forget to set the, like on GoPros, I, I'm a huge fan of GoPros, uh, disable the audio part of it, not through the camera, but through tape and, and, um, setting it so that it won't record audio because some states obviously you can't record audio but um you have to set that date and time on gopros and cameras and whether it's recording on the image itself or whether it is metadata you can still alter the the metadata you can set your camera uh, to record at whatever date and time you want to set it at and so that whole just debate i don't understand where it comes from and um i recently read a book where they said you got to get that type of equipment so what i want to do here is is show you that you can in fact use any equipment and i want to show you how to use some software that's available it's very inexpensive where you can actually extract the metadata and create a date and time stamp and even customize it to where you want it on the video so let me show you the software here that I've been using for years that you can take and extract that metadata off of your disk. All right, so here's a camera I'm fond of using. That's the Canon Vixia HF G20 model. And if you open this up, you have your uh, box here that basically holds your disk. You pull your disk out, right? And then you take this disk, which you've recorded video on, and it has metadata that I've set um, this camera to record date, time, and usually I go off my phone, but I actually set it by date and time. And whatever date and time I set on this camera goes onto this card. So let's put this card in the computer, and we'll go ahead and I'll show you how you take and extract metadata from a disk and put a date and time stamp on it using certain software. All right, so this is the software I've been using for years and I've tried a couple other companies but this is the one that seems to be the most stable they provide regular updates and you can also take different video formats and convert it so this is uh, known as VMTS and this software right here will convert mp4 and, and MOV formats where you can it doesn't convert it basically you have options on what you can do with it uh, and so then you have VATS, which takes AVCHD formatted uh, cards. So like um, Canon's notorious for shooting in this format and um, I can extract metadata and then date and time stamp it. And then you have some other options that I'm not as familiar with. It looks like this will take NTSC, PAL, DV, or AVI file formats and date and time stamp it. Then you have this that supports JPEG file formats to extract metadata and put a date and time stamp on it. Then you have your download function. Here's download software. And here's the costs. 
All right, let's go ahead and just see what I've, I purchased this years ago. So um, I'm not even sure what they're charging nowadays. Uh, looks like this pr the product only is $20 for this, and this is MP4. And I've actually switched over from the AVCHD format to MP4. It just seems to be the easiest for transferring if I don't date time stamp it and I just shoot it as evidence. It just seems to be the most versatile. And then here's where you get some support. And uh, honestly, I've never had to use support. Here's uh, $20 and $25. And it looks like most of these are pretty much about the same price. And so depending on the format that you're shooting in, that's what uh, software you want to purchase. So what does the software look like? Well, here I have the ABCHD timestamp. Um, I, I have an older video that I'm actually, I have on a disc that I'm going to, well, I, I shot it on disc um, years ago, actually, and I have it on my computer ready to go. So it would be the same type of format. You could set this to ABCHD or um, MP4 or MOV. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and add this clip. And basically you're gonna have where you can, you, if you have it saved on your computer, like this, to give you an example, this video was shot in 2011, January 6, 2011. And, um, and so it shows MT, uh, MTS format, but it's a AVCHD overall format. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And you can see here that it already has the day of the week, January 6, 2011. Like the, it already extracted that from the metadata. The time is 11.01.43. That's 11.01 a.m. And so what I usually like to do is go down here. And here's where you can change your formats. See that where you can just do different formats. Thursday 6, 2011, depending on what country you're in. It, uh, you can just change it. And so let's just go back to Thursday, January 6, 2011. And then the time, I don't like it down here. I like to have my time pretty close to my date just for ease of viewing. So what you can do is move it. But before I move it, I'm gonna go ahead and put the format. 110103. So now here it uses an X and a Y axis. And really this is, um, it's easy to use. It might seem a little complicated, but so 64 is the X axis and I want it to stay consistent. What I want to do is move the Y axis up. And so let's just go like that and just play around with this a little bit and see. Oh, it's a little bit too high, right? So let's go back down to maybe, uh, 95 oh no it's not quite enough let's go to 140 uh, it's a little bit too low if to my liking so i'm gonna go 130 uh that's that's pretty close let's go a little bit tighter 120 oh that's about right so now you have a date and time stamp on here and uh this is actually uh, a guy that was dumpster diving to commit ID theft. Basically, he's looking in an apartment complex into a dumpster to get identifying information off of the individuals so that he can assume their, their identity and do some fraud. So now what we want to do, though, if, if you are not inserting a plug in to disable your audio, a lot of times you don't want that vehicle noise and it is raw data, so like your raw data disk is going to contain noises, and some attorneys, like either way, evidence is evidence. Whatever you shoot is evidence, so make sure that if you don't disable it by putting a plug in the the speaker or the head, you know, the mic jack, if you don't put a plug in that mic jack and it's recording sounds in your vehicle, your your radio, your music, your under-the-breath comments of your suspects or people you're trailing, uh, if if um, it's going to record that and that's raw data, but typically if I don't put a plug in there, I want to strip my audio. So what I do is I go in here under preferences, and remember I told you how you can you can manipulate metadata. So look at what I can do here: year, month, day, hour, minute. So let's say I'm in a different time zone and I want to manipulate it, right? So I go minus three. Boom. 
and go, okay. I just turn that metadata into 801 AM. So like the metadata is gonna, is actually, if you think about it, more authentic than an, an old piece of equipment that puts a date and timestamp that I can manually put it in the, comp in the camera and then it's gonna record and put it on the screen on the actual image. I can manipulate it where here, I can manipulate and pull metadata from the raw video and put a date and timestamp on there for whatever I want. I can change a date, change a year, I can change the hour. So I can still manipulate metadata. So let's go back in here and change that back. Cause this time zone. So when you want to do this is let's say um, you travel, like I went to Atlanta a few weeks ago and um, I, I forgot to set my camera to Atlanta time. And so when I record it, to, to accurately represent the date and time where I was, I went ahead and changed the, so it was a three hour time difference. And um, that's what I'm able to do in here. Now the rad data, raw data is gonna still show the original date, but um, okay, so now that we have that set, and remember I mentioned about audio, if you don't want audio to come through, like let's say you're recording that background noise and you want to strip that sound, you hit disable audio and hit OK. Now it's going to take the audio out of this video. So then all you do is browse and choose where you want to send this thing and just find out wherever on your computer that you prefer to put this and you can put it anywhere, right? OK. And now you hit stamp you can hit auto shutdown where then once it's done it'll just turn off but you hit stamp and then this is actually going to go through the whole process here and it's already done it's done and stamped so let me pull it up and show it to you so i pulled the video over it's in a wmv format and it's about 18 megabytes and as you can see the actual original clip here uh, this is the 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 file of the clip like this is the file name but then what it's done is taken January 6 2011 11 a.m. and it's basically time time stamped the video there you go and this was uh, this video was shot in 2011 January 6th and so it still holds all that metadata uh, as long as you have the file, uh, dts8888.com. And I've had this for, boy, I would say probably seven or eight years I've been using the software. It comes out with regular updates and never really had any issues. You just got to figure out what format you want to record in. And a photograph or a video most times you're going to have to testify to its authenticity anyways. And so you're going to have to say, yes, this video or photograph accurately represents the, the scene at that date and time. And so um, I, I still don't understand where this whole problem of date and time stamps being on antiquated equipment is an issue. I hope this has been helpful. Darren Fredericks from Team Guardian, and I'll get you on the next one.